Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and I'm here with my favorite long-haired hippie, Bob. Hello, Mark. Pleasure <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Although I'm not too far away myself these days. I hope to uh, have my hair just as long as you when I'm your age. Well, when you grow up, maybe when that'll I, be the when case. I, when I grow up. We're out here in Utah's West Desert. Um, it's an area collectively uh, known as the West Desert, south of I-80 and west of uh, the Wasatch Front. We're about, yeah, about what, 35 miles from the nearest paved road or so, um, near Simpson Springs, between Lookout Pass and Simpson Springs. Uh, show you around this area, we're gonna go on the hunt for some uh, wild horses, see if we can find the wild mustangs that roam around this stretch of BLM land, uh, and also explore the Pony Express Trail on this episode of Grand Adventure, so stay tuned. Utah's West Desert comprises a lonely series of mountain ranges in extraordinarily flat valleys, stretching from the Wasatch Front to the Nevada border. It's home to such curiosities as the original Pony Express route, herds of wild horses, and the Utah Test and Training Range, a 2,675 square mile military training area that constitutes the largest contiguous block of overland supersonic authorized restricted airspace in the contiguous United States. We settled in for the weekend at a campsite at the foot of the Sheep Rock Mountains. With views stretching out across Government Creek to the Simpson Mountains and Davis Mountain nearby, and all the way to the towering Deep Creek Mountains along the Utah-Nevada border, located some 70 miles away. The Pony Express Trail marks where men on horseback once carried the nation's mail across Utah's West Desert and across the country between 1860 and 1861. Stations were situated 10 miles apart along the 1900 mile route, one of which remains in the West Desert today at Simpson Springs. Despite its prominence in American folklore, as a business enterprise, the Pony Express was a financial disaster that lasted for only 19 months before being replaced by the nation's first transcontinental telegraph line. We 
We also followed the Pony Express Trail as far west as Fish Springs National Wildlife Refuge, a saline desert oasis that's home to fish, migratory birds, deer, coyotes, pronghorn, cougars, and other native species. Fish Springs was itself once home to a Pony Express station and got its name from the six-inch fish that inhabited these desert pools, themselves remnants of the ancient Lake Bonneville. The Express Trail through western Utah is a lonely, desolate, and dusty stretch of dirt road that's easily negotiated by passenger vehicle. We also explored some side trails on reconnaissance missions for future camping. Although the Pony Express Trail across western Utah is beautifully graded, it can still be harsh on well-worn truck tires. So for the second time in two months, we have an episode where we had a tire issue. Uh, lost the uh, right rear tire uh, out near Simpson Springs. So made about a 45 mile drive into Tooele where I'm getting four used tires put on the truck because I'm not going to have this happen again. Not exactly how we planned on spending a camping trip. Hey, every now and then things go awry and there's some adventure in it. So we're in Tooele, Utah. So is this a grand adventure? It's an adventure. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it grand. The area around Simpson Springs is also home to the Anakai Wild Horse Herd, the offspring of domesticated horses brought to the area by European settlers in the late 1800s. This herd of 100 to 200 horses roams the barren plains of the West Desert foraging for food and drinking from stock ponds and other water features. The BLM, which manages the herd, uses fertility control delivered annually by Dark Gun to try to control the herd's population and minimize the need for large roundups. So that's going to do it for this episode of Grand Adventure. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. How about you, Bob? Have you enjoyed I've coming along for the ride? I've had a blast. It's been a great uh, change from being up at Alta every day, Mark. Thank uh, you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, stick, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please put them in the comment section below, and we'll do our best to try to answer you and help you out as quickly as we can. Uh, if you're not one, yet one of our Grand Adventurers, we'd love to have you along for the ride. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll see our logo appear on the screen. Just click on that video so to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get instant notification of each one of our new video episodes. Thank you very much, and until next time, remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon. And remember, support Mark and grand adventure. Bye-bye <laughs> now.